So we are going on a trip back to where we used to live because where we used to live was a pretty big city. There's stuff to do there. And also my dad and sister bought tickets to go to a concert. And so we decided that whoever wants to go can go because it's a big city and we want to do stuff. And where I live now, there's nothing to do. So we're going to go and do stuff. And I'm gonna go and eat at places that I loved to eat at that I can't do anymore and shop at places that I liked to go to that I can't shop at anymore. I'm very excited. And if all goes well, I could also be purchasing a brand new camera because I don't know if I told you guys this, but I am going to college for photography and the camera that I have at the moment is not good enough for them apparently. My camera's not bad, but it's also not like a professional level camera, so if all goes well, I'll be upgrading to a professional level camera. I already know which one I plan on getting, so I'm very excited. So we could have a possible mini unboxing. So I just packed everything that I need all into this one suitcase. I've got my purse or my bag that stays with, geez, why is it so yellow? My bag that stays with me in the car when I do stuff because I like to have items with me in the car. Just doing out my suitcase. So that one took my stuff upstairs. And we can go. I'm currently in the car. And I am waiting for my family. So now it's just the drive. I don't know what type of footage I'm gonna get for the drive. We'll have to see. But yeah, we're going right now, so. Family's coming. So I'm gonna turn this off. See you guys in whatever. We have some really exciting news. I just got a massive upgrade. Take your guesses of what camera. And no, it is nothing new. Brand new. Mirrorless. That's a mirrorless. <gasps> I'm so happy. I got the Canon EOS R. And so in the hotel room, if there is any time where I have time alone in the hotel room, I will do an unboxing. I want to unbox it right now, but I want to save it for when we get to the hotel room so I can take everything out nice and all that. They had it on sale for like a hundred bucks off. What I'm doing in college next year, or in, I'm going to college in like five months, but when I go to college, it is on the list of cameras that are acceptable, so I can use it for that. And also, it's just a great camera for photo and video, so I can use it for everything. I don't have to worry about having multiple cameras. This camera is going to go to my mom, because my mom has a YouTube channel, so I can link her channel down below. She'll be, her videos are gonna up in quality. I have the hotel room to myself for a few hours, so I'm gonna do the unboxing. I'm so excited to open this. Got a paper, and then the booklet, the super thick booklets they always come with. 
a battery, battery charger, and some cords. Okay, got a pretty hefty piece of plastic on the top. And then we have the camera strap. Okay, let's start with the lens first. It's wrapped in bubble wrap. This lens is going to be my new everyday lens that I use for vlogging, any type of filming pretty much. This lens is the 24 to 105 f4. Here's how it zooms. So this is an RF lens because I have the Canon EOS R. And now we have the camera body. Oh my goodness. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh. And it looks so nice and sleek. And it's so nice and comfortable to hold in your hand. I'm so happy. But I gotta learn how to really work this thing. Oh boy. Battery insert on the bottom. It's a pretty big battery. SD card insert. Single insert. Um, I'm not doing wedding photography or anything like that. I don't need massive storage. I'm gonna adjust some settings really quick. So they say to have your shutter speed when filming, like when you're doing video, have your shutter speed twice as much as your frame rate. My frame rate currently is 24 frames a second, so I have my shutter speed at 1 50th of a second. And I have the aperture as low as possible, or as low of a number as possible. Brightness, it's as light as possible. And now we're just going to have to adjust the ISO. So I heard the R performs best on 400 ISO, but that's just not possible in these lighting conditions. So we're gonna have to crank it. That's pretty light. This is, let's go to as high as it can go. Let's see, how high does this thing go? Holy crapola. That is light. Is there something on my lens? Alrighty, I fixed it. There's nothing on the lens right there anymore. So now let's go back down to a reasonable ISO. Seems a smidgen dark, but actually no, it's fine. I'd want to be filming around this, but generally I don't film in manual because it's just you're changing conditions so much, especially if I'm vlogging. I won't film in uh, manual because you're changing conditions so often that it's just I don't want to have to try to keep up. If I'm doing a sit down video, then I'll probably shoot in manual just so I can try to get the best possible quality through that video, for that video. We're gonna switch to auto now and see what it does. See if it changes things. Well, it obviously will, probably. I have to pause the video. Alrighty, so this is auto, um, but it is called intelligent, scene intelligent auto or something like that in the camera, not just program auto like it was in my T7i. So what if I went to dark conditions? Let's go down over here. Would it adjust my ISO? Wow, and that's not even that grainy. Look at my skin. Where is the grain? Where is the grain? I turn up the phone. It's like these little buttons that So right now, I'm using my new camera. Everything's on auto. Um, I have eye detection on, so hopefully the, fo the autofocus is good. But we're going to go pick up my dad and my sister from the concert that we came here for. I love this. Like, look at how good this looks. This is crazy. And this is just with like, it's pitch black outside and it, this is just like building lights and street lamps and stuff. So tomorrow, I guess I'll just update you guys on what we're doing tomorrow. Tomorrow, I am going to be eating at two places I have not eaten at in forever, and they are my favorite places to eat. Gangnam Street Food and Chachi's. Very delicious, very, two very different places to eat, but they're very delicious. I'll show you. Gangnam. Gangnam is so Gangnam. good. First time we've seen the quality of the camera in daylight. So now we're going to the mall. So 
So we are at the mall now and I got chachis. Very delicious. And we went to Kiehl's already. And because it had Christmas packaging for this, it's a a corrective solution. Because it had Christmas packaging and it's not Christmas anymore, it was 30% off. And then we also got a couple of moisturizer um, samples. Mom went to Cinnabon and she got a little cinnamon bun. A, a little mini cinnamon bun and a coffee. I got a Coca-Cola and I'll show you my sandwich. There's my sandwich. It has turkey, like a spicy mayo and lettuce and bacon. We might possibly go to the batting cages today because I have a softball game tomorrow. We're heading straight from the city to my softball game and uh, my batting sucks. So we went to McBain after going out to eat and I got my mount adapter for the EOS R so I can unbox that or something. Let's do that right now, why not? Got paper stuff. Let's put it right there. Ooh, it comes in a little package. More plastic. Oh, there's that. And then we went to Walmart after that and we got plants. If you want to see these plants being planted, no. go no. watch Mom's YouTube channel. No. I can't remember what it's called. I'll link it in the description. She plants plants. And because she's so protective of her plants, she bought Irish Spring to protect from the deer. And then we got some posters. Yeah, one anime poster, another anime poster, and another anime poster. Which I'm not going to say what because this video is going to go up before Avery and Bailey get their posters. And then, because mom does YouTube now, she's taking my camera, she needs an actual good tripod. So she bought this Vivitar tripod from Walmart. That's everything that we got. Now we gotta see if we can book a slot for the batting cages. Well, we just got a call back from the people at the batting cage, and we're gonna go in at five for five to 5.30. I hope they don't put me in that slow pitch thing. They put me in the actual. No, because the baseball balls are too. Oh, no, because no, that's I still why, hit those. No, they did slow pitch because, yeah, you have the bigger balls. Now we're going to go look at some plants. And we're going to go to the batting cage. So we have, like, almost three hours until we have to be there. So for the rest of today, I have... We're going to go to the nursery, batting cages, eat Gangnam Street food. I have to do some online school because it is a weekday and I want to go swimming so that's the rest of today's schedule for me. so we're now at the nursery yeah so we're just looking at plants now As you can see here there's all of these plants all around and we're just looking around now so I'll just maybe get some random footage here and there So I just got some really nice pictures of some plants and I'll insert them here actually. I'll insert the raw. So we're done at the nursery. Mom got four or five plants. We're gonna go back to the hotel because in less than two hours we have to go to the batting cages and I want it now. We're getting Dairy Queen now. No. I mean, Tim Hortons now. I got a French vanilla, by the way. French vanilla is my favorite from Tim Hortons. Um, I get a French vanilla and I also really like their farmer's wraps. Their farmer's wraps are delicious. Thank you. Good day. You too. French vanilla. 
so we got back from the batting cages and now I have driver training because I am a 17 year old who does not have her license yet. So I have it from 6.30 to 8.30, so it's two whole hours. Mom and dad went to go pick up some food. They went shopping and to pick up, went to go shopping and pick up some food. So I'm gonna have a two hour lesson and I just sit here and listen and answer questions sometimes through the chat. It wasn't working on my computer, which I brought for this. It wasn't working on my computer, so I had to uh, use it on my phone now. Nice. I was able to figure out how to get my Zoom call open on my computer. So, quick update, but we're 40 minutes into the lesson already. Still got an hour and 20 minutes to go. I'll update you guys when I get my food, because my parents are out going to Home Depot and then they're gonna get food, so. Okay, sorry for the loud noise but I am currently at the pool and there is nobody. I have half an hour for 40 minutes. It's 9.20, 9.18 to be exact. And it closes at 10. I had driver training from 6.30 to 8.30 and then I also had to eat and I didn't finish eating until 10. And then we came down to the pool to check to make sure there was nobody in here because I didn't, I don't really want to swim with the people. And there was nobody, so then I went upstairs and changed, and now it's 9.20, and I'm gonna go swim. And just in case there were others, and also because I'm gonna be filming myself, I went and I bought some swim trunks, some nice bright yellow swim trunks. I'm gonna try to find a nice dry area to put this camera up because this is an expensive camera and I don't want to break it. I'm gonna set you right here. BRB. Trying to keep my hands dry. This is the deepest part of the pool, halfway through, it's four feet. So now, I'm gonna swim back and forth. Watch me do my mermaid swim. Wait, I'm gonna dunk my head first. I should bring my towel over here just in case I need to grab my camera. Okay, dunk in the water. First dunk. Okay, time to swim. Let's go. Come on, guys. So I need a GoPro I can film myself underwater. Okay, bye. I'm so scared I'm gonna look back and there's gonna be someone standing right there at the door. Did you see that? Okay, I'm gonna go in the hot tub now. ball game in an hour and 15 minutes but we're probably gonna start warming up in like a half an hour. I didn't film any of the trip home because I didn't want to. Because you slept. Because I slept. Still gotta eat after. My game should end at around hopefully 8 at the latest 8.30 but I'm really hoping it ends at 8. We're done with game. Can I do it? You have nuggets? Yes. Oh. Yeah. It's 9. I know. That's a two and a half hour game. I know. I got 10 nuggets and a vanilla milkshake. Fresh. I'm also gonna see what you hear this crunch. Listen to this. Hear the crunch though? I'm not gonna film unpacking, so I'm always gonna end it here. That's everything for this video.